Hi everybody, Pastor Glenn Barrett here, Senior Pastor of Audacious Church and also National Leader of Assemblies of God. You know, over recent weeks I've had comments from people asking us, why are we doing in-person services? So I thought it would be great just to share with you 10 reasons why we're doing our in-person services. The first thing is this, is to recognize and realize that as leaders and trustees, we're doing absolutely everything to ensure that our Sunday services are COVID secure, following both the legislation and advisory elements of the guidance set out by the government. I think secondly, it's important to know that people are free to choose to attend or not, depending on their personal circumstances and feelings. And uh, we, of course, have the option of doing church online as well as in-person services as well. So there's not a greater or lesser Christian based on whether or not you're just joining us online or you're in person. People are free to choose. The third thing is this, is that during previous lockdowns, alongside many church and faith leaders, we encouraged the government to keep places of worship open in recognition that the national emergency we are facing through driven principally through a health crisis is escalating also into a mental health and well-being crisis. We are so thankful that the government listened, recognizing that we as people are not only physical beings, but we have mental, emotional and spiritual needs as well. We know that gathering in a place of worship plays a significant part in ensuring that individuals are cared for and families are cared for and connected with in this really crazy time that we find ourselves living in. The fourth thing is this, is that our regular meetings, both with the faith minister from the government, as well as senior civil servants, inform our internal leadership and trustee meetings, ensuring that we are working not only with the latest guidance, but also following best practice. This means we've made changes to the way we do our in-person services as well, allowing for greater distancing measures uh, in our services. Fifthly, we've worked with the council's environmental health team and Greater Manchester Police, submitting our assessments of risk to both of them for their feedback. During uh, the service here in Manchester on the 17th of January, we had a site visit by the Greater Manchester Police who were very happy with our adherence to both legislation and guidelines. The sixth thing I think is important to know is that some of our church are either really, really hurting or really, really lonely. And the option of doing in-person services gives us the opportunity for people to come into a community of faith with an atmosphere of faith and mutual encouragement and support. The seventh thing to know is that we have uh, reduced our service times as well, where usually a service time would run for 90 minutes. Now we've limited them to one hour, reducing the amount of time that people are sat in the building. The eighth thing is that something to recognize is that as a church, and certainly for myself, I have responsibility in leading the Assemblies of God in Great Britain. And so that is also a consideration when it comes to our in-person services. Ninthly, we are evaluating things regularly, weekly, if not daily. We're certainly thankful to our leadership teams, our staff, our trustees, our volunteers, everybody who makes it possible for us to be flexible and make changes where they are needed. The last reason why we're doing in-person services is really to do with my and my wife Sophie, our personal conviction that church is an essential entity in society. That is both our theological and pastoral conviction and response. As you know, during this time, there's been a massive increase in mental ill health uh, alongside job losses and family crises. And this has really pushed the church's response to the forefront in communities again. With a recent conversation with some police colleagues, they were saying how in every shift, they were dealing with increased mental ill health, increase in suicides, domestic abuse, and we're very thankful that we were running our in-person services 
to make support available for the wider community. So there's 10 of our reasons why we're continuing to do our in-person services. Thanks for being, taking the time to be with us and we're praying for you wherever you are, that you would be safe, that you'd know God's richest blessings, peace and presence in your life during this time. Listen, everything to do with our church is available at audaciouschurch.com and uh, you can find out a lot more about what we're up to in the meantime. We love you guys.